Hi, this is Tim Steinhorn with another edition of Tech Tips on DRN TV. Today, we're going to be talking about the guided remote control for our guided DTA box for DRN digital television. Your remote would come with your box that you would receive from DRN. You'll get, have your remote in there, you have your batteries, and there's also a remote user guide. So what you want to do is take your user guide out along with your remote control and your batteries. What you want to do on your user guide is find on the back page, there's a list of a bunch of television, different di television types. You want to find out what brand of television you have and uh, see the associated numbers behind that. You might want to just write those down somewhere. There may be more than one. The uh, first numbers that are listed are the most common ones that make the remote work with your television. So if you just write those numbers down, um, then you can, uh, we can proceed with the next part of what we need to do to get the remote control set up for your television. The next thing you want to do then is after you have those numbers, get your remote control, make sure your batteries are installed. Okay, make sure a negative is to negative and positive is to positive. I'm going to put my remote cover back on and then I have that. Okay, in order to set up your remote now, we're going to need to use this setup button right down here. So on the lower left hand side, it's a little smaller than the regular buttons. We're going to be using this button and then we're going to be watching this indicator light that's at the top of the remote. Now, in order to set this up, we need to hold this setup button down for five seconds. You'll see it, the, but the indicator light is red and then it turns green. Once it's green, you have a few seconds to put in your particular code number of your television. Now. You can try to put your five digit code in, make sure you have it done while that green light is on there or else you'll have to try it again. So I haven't done mine soon enough. So I'm gonna hit my setup button again. Watch it turn green at the top and then put my five digit number in. After that, you can try, you will see at the very top, your little green button will blink twice, which will show that you've got the code in there. Now, when you do that, what you need to do to try and see if your television remote is programmed correctly is just use the power button right here and see if your television will power off. Um, if it does not, you may have to try one of the other codes that's listed for your television set in the guide that's on the back of the user manual for the remote control. So let's see if my uh, television is gonna work after I've done this code here. All right, here we go. Let me see if I hit my button. Oh, my power went off. So that means it's working for me. So I'm gonna hit the power button one again, once again to make sure it uh, is working and the television powers on. And I see it is doing that. And also, I can check my volume button here to make sure my volume is working. And there's my volume up and down and also my mute button. So yes, it's also muting my television. So everything is working on my particular remote control now for controlling my television set. Once we have our remote control set up to control our television, now we can use the remote control to set up RF frequency technology to control your digital box. And what that means is it'll work more reliably um, infrared technology is what most remote controls use. You can kind of see at the top here where that little light is. That usually you have to point right at your box to make it work. If you use RF technology in your remote, you won't have to do that. It, you can actually hide your box out of sight and it'll work a lot more reliably. So what you want to do first when we get to that is um, you will need to make sure the infrared is working so you'll have to have your remote looking at your digital box and you want to hit the menu button on your remote. The orange button here if you hit the menu button and that'll get you into the menu on your television and that'll look like this. Okay now that we're in the menu we want to make sure to go to the general setup. Just use the arrow keys on your remote. Go to general setup and then use a right arrow and go down to pair remote. So when you get on that all you have to do is hit the OK button on your remote and then you will get into the pair remote screen. It'll show you how here how to pair your remote. So we, what we want to do here also is use the setup button again just like we did previously. Hold that button down until the green indicator light uh, comes on on the top. Then we want to hit the menu button again and what we will do is we will receive a number. 
You'll see it right here on the screen right now. So we want to put this number in fairly quickly. So we want to put in 5, 4, 5 in this example. And now it'll show that my remote control is now paired with the digital, digital adapter. And so now it is actually using RF technology. So you can hide your box anywhere you want behind your television. So your remote now is using RF technology. You won't need to be line of sight for this remote to work. So that'll work a lot more reliably for you. All right, so there's how to program your remote for your guided DTA box that you receive from DRN. If you do have any problems or anything, please refer to your user guide that came with the remote. Uh, that'll guide you through most of the problems you have. If you have any additional problems that you can't get through using the guide there, uh, please call our office at 344-5000, and our technical support group will be certain to help you get your uh, remote control working properly for you. Thanks for joining me on Tech Tips. I'm Tim Steinwan. We'll see you.